Alola everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Sun and Moon. Wait, did I really just say that? I meant to say what is up everyone. Welcome to Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon and welcome back to Alola. I can't believe these games are finally here. It's actually been not that long, just a little over a year since Pokemon Sun and Moon came out of course and Professor Kukui is already back in action and oh my goodness guys, I am so excited to get started. Of course this is going to be another adventure through the Alola region but with an ultra twist to it. Necrozma's causing some trouble, apparently Giovanni's back with Rainbow Rocket, and we've got a whole new adventure in a not-so-new region, but I am very excited. Hang on now, give me just a second. Just a second? Why, that's how long it takes to hit that like button, which you should definitely do if you are excited for the beginning of a brand new playthrough. Oh my goodness, guys, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are actually here, and I am just really excited to get to see what is going on, what is different in Alola this time around, so let's finally get to it. Good afternoon! So the day has finally come that you're moving to Alola. Or I guess moving back to Alola? Well, technically this is a new story from Sun and Moon. It's just an alternate retelling of the same story. So it'll pretty much be the same as Pokemon Sun and Moon, but with some slight differences here and there, as well as a whole slew of new Pokemon to find. Well, not exactly new, but, you know, different from the Pokedex in the original Sun and Moon for sure. There's no shortage of cool Pokemon out here in Alola either. Such mysterious creatures! Of course we know Kukui, we love them, and I can't believe we're actually back. I'm definitely getting a lot of deja vu right now, but I have a feeling we're going to be getting quite a lot of it throughout the beginning of this playthrough here. Uh, but of course, these games do get a lot more different, I think, the later on we get into it, so I'm not expecting it to be too crazy different, uh, at least for the beginning, the trials and stuff. But once we get closer to that post-game and closer to the Alola League, I am certain that some crazy stuff is bound to happen. So, of course, like any Pokemon journey, we gotta start off by picking our character. And I think I'm gonna just stick to... Actually, I kind of want to be a little more tan this time around. I usually go for the more pale character. I guess not the most pale, though. That would be this guy over here, but... I usually go for this, is what I'm saying. This time around, though, we're going for a little bit more of a tan. We are in Alola, of course. The sun is shining bright here. And I am going to be playing Pokemon Ultra Sun, uh, but as with every playthrough, or most playthroughs that I've done, uh, I'm going to show off the major differences between the two games, and there's actually quite a lot of them, from what I can tell so far. A lot of version exclusives, and yes, I do go by Orange, though sometimes Orangey, sometimes the Munch, but mostly Orange. I'll let everybody out here know you're on your way. Excuse me. Orange! Yeah, that's a name that hits you like a drop kick right to the head. Woo! Did he say nickname or name? Because I, I guess I think he can say name sometimes, sometimes nickname, depending on what your actual name you choose is. But this is definitely a nickname. My, my real name is not Orange, believe it or not. Come help me with these boxes! Oh, our mother! I can't believe our mom still hasn't changed. Like, she still hasn't unpacked the moving boxes, so... Some things in Alola are definitely still the same. And speaking of same, we've got Lily running away once again! It's so crazy actually playing this game knowing kind of everything that's going to be happening. Though I guess we don't technically know everything. Like I said, there's definitely some differences here. Some ultra differences, you might say. But so far... Oh! Spoke too soon! Here we actually have the Ultra Recon Squad already! But here we've got these two goons. And Nebby in the bag! And Pokemon Ultra Sun. Holy moly, guys. I just got chills down my spine. And a couple of other places that I won't talk about. Three months later. Oh boy, we are actually back in Alola, and it's actually looking a little bit different than it did before. Some of the beaches look a little bit different, I feel like. But here it is, the Alolan sun shining brightly in a new day in Ultra Sun, and a not quite new house, but I feel like the house actually looks a lot different too. I don't think those plants were here at the balcony before, but anyway. Here we have our beautiful mother! Ah, can't you just feel that warmth? The first day spent under Alola's sun. It's so warm and bright here. But that's enough of that. 
Time to unpack all these boxes. Okay. Seriously, it's been a whole year and our mom still hasn't unpacked. Meowth, go get orange for me, would ya? I guess Meowth isn't Danny DeVito this time around, so that's definitely a step up. Although I'm not sure he was ever Danny DeVito. I think that was all just in my head, but now we're inside of Meowth's head, apparently. Or at least his eyes. Oh, hey, it's us! Our room doesn't look too different so far from what I can tell, but there might be some slight differences that I'm not noticing. Of course, we got the Nintendo Switch right there. Looks like an autograph from someone and our sleeping trainer. Ready to go on a new adventure. Oh my goodness, guys. Every time you start up a new Pokemon game, especially like an actual new game that just came out, it's just there's no other feeling like it, honestly. I'm so excited. Look at that. We even got Pinsir on our bed right there. I think if you pick a girl, you've got an Eevee. I don't know if that's any different from original Sun and Moon, but still pretty cool. Uh, the gender differences, of course. There's a couple of them in this game as well, but it's never going to be anything too crazy. So let's not take a nap and instead check out the tiny globe. Kanto and Alola seem awfully far apart. Oh yeah, we kind of moved here from Kanto, huh? We got an autograph from a gym leader in Kanto. What? I wonder what gym leader that is. What if it's like our dad or something? Uh, though our, I doubt our dad is a gym leader in Kanto, but you never know, man. These, these dads in Pokemon games never really quite there to, you know... I guess just they're never there, honestly. But we do always have a awesome mother, and this game is no exception. So let's go and talk to her. Or I guess she's talking to us. You were out like a light, weren't you? You ought to be full of energy by now. And just look, it's already daytime here. It's completely the opposite of Kanto. But then we are so far away here in Alola. Huh. So I guess Kanto is based on Japan. I don't know where Alola would be, but I guess it's on the other side of the globe. Kind of like Unova. Maybe close to New... Maybe close to Unova. Maybe close to Unova or something. Are you excited to meet some Alolan Pokemon? I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the, like, totally unexpected response every time. Or, like, whatever seems meaner or something. Oh, you! Someday you're gonna learn to have a little wonder in your life. Wow, she's actually kind of mad. Well, not really. The beautiful islands everyone wants to visit. We're living in the Alola region now. I'm sure the Pokemon living in a place like this must be friendly, right? Might not be a bad idea to go out and see for yourself just how friendly Pokemon here are. Right, Orange? Go and get ready for a bit of exploring. Your bag and hat and things should be handing on your coat stand in your room. And didn't you leave your copy of the Alola region something rules? You know, they say the rules were meant to be broken, so we're going to forget about that and just grab our stuff and go out on our Pokemon adventure because I can't wait to see... What's actually new here in Alola? I mean, Pokemon-wise, because of course, all of the routes have been populated with brand new, fresh stuff. I'm sure there's also some, you know, Alolan Pokemon, but uh, I feel like Sun and Moon definitely had a lot of Kanto Pokemon. And in this game, there's definitely more added from other generations as well and other regions. So definitely excited to see the variety of Pokemon in these games. Now you look ready for anything. Oh, but even so, Orange, try to be careful walking through the tall grass. Still, I have to admit that I'd love to have a new Pokemon around. Why don't you head up toward Iki Town and see what you discover in Alola? Wait, so you're sending me out here. No Pokemon. No Pokeballs. Just go out there, explore, and, and bring a Pokemon back. Is that even, like, allowed? I don't know how the rules of the Pokemon world work. Maybe if I'd read my, my rule book that I just talked about earlier. Uh, but I'm pretty sure... You can't really battle Pokemon if you don't have a Pokemon of your own. It's your mom's beloved surfboard. She brought it all the way from Kanto. They sure love mentioning Kanto here. Oh my god. It's dad's car. But dad's still nowhere to be seen. So that's that's interesting. I wonder if we'll actually get to see our character's dad finally in this game. Probably not because that's... I mean, pretty much the only Pokemon game we've ever had a dad is I think Ruby and Sapphire. Uh, where of course you had Norman the gym leader. And oh my gosh. We're already on Route 1, what? Watch it, cuz. It's dangerous to get too close while it's using one of its moves. Are you really warning me about this little Rockruff, buddy? I am not scared of a Rockruff, okay? It's like being scared of an actual puppy. I mean, I guess it could bite, but you already know it's not really gonna hurt. I don't know how much a bite from Rockruff would hurt, but oh my goodness. Look at this. It is so, like, tropical and colorful and... What's a word for a lot of flowers? Uh, I guess there's just... A lot of vegetation, a lot of flora and fauna around. Definitely a lot more than there was back in the original Alola. And this dude here, not really saying anything too different, but... What the heck? Are we really just walking in the grass? Something's coming at ya! Oh no, it's a missing no! 
Or is it? Nope, it's just Young Goose. If this was any other Pokemon game, you already know that this would be missing no. Because uh, that's usually what happens when you don't have a Pokemon and you get into a battle. But, oh my goodness, look who's come to our rescue. It's Rowlet. Litten. And of course, Poplio. And it's already time to pick our starter Pokemon? No way. Isn't there supposed to be like, you know, super long tutorial, maybe a Professor Kakui around? Oh, that's so cute. They scared the young goose away for us. So does that mean we get all three starter Pokemon? What is going on here? Will somebody please explain? Hey there, cousin. Ah, just in time. Oh, the sitcom music is back. I love it. Hang on. I know you. You're orange, right? You're okay. I saw you get attacked like that. <laughs> I said I was going to pick all the really silly answers, so let, let's go for it. I was scared spitless. You and me both, cousin. I'm looking after these Pokemon, but they dashed right out on their own to save ya. But I guess I'm getting ahead of myself. Welcome to Alola, the Pokemon Paradise. That's what I'm supposed to be saying. I'm Kukui, yeah, the professor. People and Pokemon live and work together here in Alola too. Don't you ever forget, you can go anywhere, yeah, as long as you got Pokemon in your corner. Wild Pokemon can be lurking in the grass just waiting to leap out and bite ya, but you'll be fine if you've got a partner of your own. Hey there, let me introduce you to the Pokemon that helped you just now. Oh, so we do get to choose our starter Pokemon right now. It looks like they're not dilly-dallying at all in this game before you even get your starter. Usually there's a pretty long tutorial, of course, in every Pokemon game, but this time around, I guess it's a little different. Of course, we've got the same starter Pokemon from Alola, or I guess from the original Sun and Moon. One of these Pokemon will become your first partner. Woo! Yes, I miss Kukui and his awesome woo! Maybe that's why they wanted to save ya. Go on and choose the one you'd like to keep as your partner, cousin. Oh man, I actually haven't even thought about this yet. Because of course I did use Litten as my partner in the original Pokemon Sun. And I did have a Rowlet as well throughout the ending of that playthrough. I got one traded from a friend. And because of that, I am finally going to choose a starter that has gone kind of underappreciated, at least by myself, here in the Alola region. And that is of course, Poplio, the water type. Poplio works hard and makes some pretty awesome balloons. So you want to go with the water type? Yes! I don't think I've ever actually picked a water type during a main series Pokemon playthrough here on my channel. But there's a first time for everything and it is finally time to choose Poplio. Look at how cute it looks. Man, I have a feeling I'm actually going to end up loving Poplio, Even though it was definitely my least favorite starter when Sun and Moon came out. But this time everything changes as we've chosen Poplio. And I wonder if it's going to be a boy or girl, actually. I feel like as its final evolution, Primarina, definitely more of a female looking Pokemon. Uh, but I guess we've got a boy Poplio this time around, and I've got a perfect nickname for it. Navy, because it's a seal. A Navy seal. Get it? He's, he's literally blue. So it's like Navy, but... Anyway, you went with Poplio. Woo, what a fine looking team you two are. Now that you can have Pokemon battles, you're what we call a Pokemon trainer. Here's a Pokeball for Poplio too. Should feel nice and cozy in there. Aw, oh, come on, I wanna keep it outside. I swear everyone thought that this game would finally have Pokemon following you outside of the ball, just like our beloved HeartGold SoulSilver, but nope. Time to meet the island Kahuna, but why? <laughs> Truth is, that partner Poplio of yours is a gift from the Kahuna, not me. Wow, Kukui, way to take the credit for it, man. May not be the only gift you get. In case you hadn't heard, the Kahunas are all crazy strong Pokemon trainers. Be careful about getting into a battle with one. That is, if you can even battle one, don't you have to like go through the trial and stuff to even get to battle a Kahuna? Iki Town is right up here. Okay, well, I guess that's where we're headed to meet up with Kahuna Hala, who I've definitely missed a lot as well. Get Poplio there in that Pokeball I gave you. No, please just stay outside. Please. Aw, oh, man. I was really hoping that they'd still surprise us somehow and, you know, actually have the Pokemon following you outside the Pokeball because it seems like Hau loves to do that in this game, at least in the trailers. But, oh my goodness, guys, it is time for our first wild Pokemon encounter. And it is actually going to be the same young goose that attacked us earlier. So you know what? I think it's time we get a little revenge on this guy or actually this gal. 
And by the way, it's not literally the same Young Goose as before. I mean, it could be. I don't actually... I guess there's no way we could ever know that. But, man, I am loving the battle backgrounds here. Because even though it's like basically Route 1 from before, there's just all these extra flowers and vegetation. And it just looks makes it look like that much nicer. Makes me feel better when I'm taking out these weakling wild Pokemon, you know, having all these flowers around and stuff. It's like, at least there's a nice scent to it, you know, while you're beating up random little rats. Is Young Goose even a rat? I, I don't think it's a rat. It's a mongoose. That's, that's probably why it's Young Goose. Anyway, we got our first item over here, a potion, and definitely a lot more grass to find new Pokemon. Uh, because even though Young Goose is great, it's not really anything we haven't seen from the original Sun and Moon just yet. Of course, Route 1 also had uh, Young Goose back in that game. So, like I said, there are a lot of new Pokemon. And the way I say new, I mean like that weren't in the original Alola decks. I'm not talking about actual new Pokemon because I don't think they really added any. Um, but you never know. There might be maybe like a new form or two in this game. I mean, there's definitely more than one new form. And there's also... How? Finally! I was just talking about this man, and looks like he doesn't even have a starter yet. Hey, hey! Which Pokemon are you gonna choose as your partner? Have you decided? Can you not see it right there? Oh yeah! I'm How. I couldn't wait for us to pick our partners together, so I came to find you myself! Uh, you're a little late there, How. Sorry to disappoint. Bork? <laughs> Whoa! Your Poplio's so cool! Hey, wait! You already picked your Pokemon? That's right. Sorry about that, How. We had a little accident on the way here, so I ended up letting Orange choose his partner first without ya. That's right, I was about to run into Missing No, bro. That would have been not okay. Fair enough. I guess it was just fate for you guys to meet. But you can choose one of these two, How. Ooh, I wonder who How is gonna pick. I think in Sun and Moon, he usually goes for the starter that is weak to yours, so I guess Litten. My partner will be Litten. I choose you. Uh, well, I guess he chose Litten after all. Alola, friend. I decided ages ago that you're the one I wanted to have an adventure with. I guess I did too, all the way back in the original Sun and Moon. But this time, it's How's turn to take control of El Tigre. Just you wait and see. Dude, this is gonna be awesome. I actually love Litten, so I'm glad that How gets to pick one so that we can follow it along the journey as well. You'll take good care of Rowlet, right? You better believe I will, How. Ooh, Kukui gets to keep the Rowlet. I wonder if maybe that Pokemon will make an appearance later on. All right, everybody, time to get back in your balls for now. Wait up, me and Lin have a favor to ask. Be our opponents in our very first ever Pokemon battle. Whoa, what? This game is seriously not messing around. Hold on, before you two step into the ring, let's make sure little Poplio's up to it. Oh, what a nice guy, he actually healed us up. I didn't even realize we were beat up, which is definitely one of the mistakes I tend to make a lot as a Pokemon trainer. All right, I'm seriously gonna enjoy this. As am I, how? Here we go, our first rival battle, right off the bat. I swear, this game is not messing around, I guess. Uh, we had our first starter Pokemon, and now our first rival battle already. I guess most old... I guess the older Pokemon games were kind of like that too, where they wouldn't have, you know, like an hour-long tutorial at the beginning. Uh, but ever since X and Y, they just love having their exposition at the beginning of the games, and making sure that all those new Pokemon players kind of know how to catch and what they're doing, battling and stuff. I guess there's always new people that join along every single generation, and even in between generations. Like, I'm sure somehow Ultra Sun and Moon will end up being one of you guys watching's first Pokemon game ever. And to those of you that it is, welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon, where little creatures can beat each other up with water guns. Though not literally a water gun, he just... It's kind of like a water gun, actually. Could you just carry a Poplio around and literally use it like a Super Soaker? That'd be pretty sick, actually. Just have a Poplio Super Soaker battle. I'm getting very distracted right now, so let's get back to this story. That was awesome, Orange. You and Poplio were both so cool. Why, thank you. You've got to have the kind of battles where everyone has fun. You and your partner Pokemon, too, you know? That's what I try, my friend. Right on. You and Hao both brought out the best in your partners and pulled off some spectacular moves, yeah. I mean, I kind of just clicked Water Gun, but thanks, I guess, Kukui? You should totally check out Iki Town. I'm going, How? Jeez, this man is just non-stop just fun right now, which is definitely Howe's character. This man has only one button, and that is go. So let's go follow How. I guess after getting this paralyzed heal and running into hopefully not another young goose. Oh, it's another young goose. Wow, who would have seen that one coming? I guess I should have, but I didn't. 
So anyway, I'm gonna run away from this one and hopefully the next Pokemon we run into is actually something new because I can't wait, like I said, to see what's what's going on. What are the new Pokemon here in Alola that aren't Young Goose? But I guess that'll still have to wait because now we're here in Icky Town. Now in the original games, I think by now we would have had the festival here in Icky Town, but not this time around. This right here is Icky Town. You've only mentioned it like four or five times now, so don't worry, I, I got it, Kukui. This town is where folks come to worship the Pokemon that watches over Mele Mele Island. Tapu Koko keeps us all safe and happy, see? Oh, Tapu Koko Ko, huh? I'd almost forgotten about that guy. Looks like the Kahuna is nowhere to be found, though. I guess there must be some trouble somewhere on the island that needs fixing, yeah? Yeah, the Kahuna wandered off without a word to anybody, singing a little ditty or something. What is a little ditty? I thought it said a little dirty, but I don't I don't think Kahuna Hala is about that. I've gotta show mom my litten! Alright, see ya how. Wait, does he actually live in Iki Town? I've got an idea for you, Orange. If you head through the village and up the hill, you can visit the ruins that belong to Tapu Koko. That's our island's guardian deity, yeah? Why don't you go and introduce yourself? If you're real lucky, maybe you'll actually get a glimpse of the guardian yourself! I'll stick around here and wait to see if the Kahuna comes back. I don't think Kukui actually knows what's about to happen. Like, he's joking, saying, like, maybe the deity will actually show up, but he has no idea. Uh, but we're about to find out in just a second. Kahuna Hala is the strongest trainer on Mele Mele. There must be some trouble going down somewhere that needs a Kahuna's touch. Because he says something about, it's time for old Hala, and off he went. I guess we can't go into Hala's house. We can't really do much here in Aki Town as of now. Probably until the festival happens, so let's speed things right along and just... Head off to Mahalo Trail. Oh, here it is. Doesn't Mahalo actually mean like, hello? No. Alola means hello, or aloha. But then Mahalo also means something in Hawaiian. So I don't know what it actually means, but I know it's definitely a Hawaiian word. Maybe one of you guys can help me out. I probably won't remember to look it up, so. Ooh, who do we have over here? Lily and the bag. I know, I know. I'll take you to the ruins. So please, stay in the bag! Oh, the meme has been dropped already. We could get in trouble if anyone sees you. I never really got who would, or who you'd get in trouble if they saw Nebby, because it seems like people that see Nebby out in Alola don't even care. They're like, what kind of Pokemon is that? Must be some crazy new baby Pokemon or something. But of course we know there's something far more to Nebby. And speak of the Nebby. Oh no! Not Spiro! Of course this scene happened in the original game, but I'm kind of confused because it definitely happened in a different order. I guess in the original Sun and Moon we did this way before even getting our starter Pokemon. This time around though, of course we've got Poplia with us and I wonder if that'll actually change anything. Ah! Who are you? Never mind me. You have to help it. Please, save Nebby. Oh man, I am not gonna have fun doing Lily's voice this whole playthrough. Actually, that's a lie. I definitely have too much fun with these voices. Those Spiro are attacking it, but I'm not a trainer. I can't. You can't what? Oh, I guess battle the Spiro, but thankfully we're a trainer, so she's gonna heal us up. And it's time to put our lives in danger for a random white-hatted girl. Oh, what? Is this new? What? What is happening right now? We're actually battling a Spearow. Okay, see, I don't remember if we actually got to battle a Spearow in the original game, because like I said, I don't think we had our starter Pokemon yet, so this might just be our first difference right here, guys. Oh my gosh, claps for Game Freak, switching up the game right here. Just revolutionary right now. I'm just kidding though, there's definitely going to be a lot more crazy stuff uh, later on, but I'm actually going to try to notice or try to spot the differences between the two games. Uh, I'm talking about the original Sun and Moon versus Ultra Sun, of course, but hey, Navy's already getting level 7 here. And I guess we already have Water Gun, so not going to be learning anything new, but we do get to continue our trek through the bridge. Doesn't this bridge have a name? Please be careful. Looks like that attack may have damaged the Plank Bridge, too. Oh, so it is called Plank Bridge. See, I thought it had some kind of special name like that. I guess it's just 
plank bridge, which is not... I am literally through the hole right there. Like, how is my character not falling right now? All right, whatever. Let's go save Nebby. We have a Pokemon. I feel like using Poplio to protect Nebby would be way smarter right now, but then this wouldn't have happened. Oh my gosh, is that a bird? Is that a plane? It's Tapu Koko! No way! Alright, I know that was exactly the same as Sun and Moon, but dang, Tapu Koko just knows how to make things epic. Thank goodness! You tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby, you know what happened last time you used it. You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. No, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, Nebby. I know you were trying to save me that time, and I couldn't even help you in return. <laughs> Poor little Nebby. It's just so different knowing exactly what Nebby is now. Because the first time I played through this, like, we literally had no idea what Nebby was going to end up turning into. Though I guess this time around, we don't exactly know what Nebby's gonna turn into either. Please forgive me. I'm so grateful to you for helping us out of that dangerous spot. Are you the Kahuna? <laughs> really? How is that even a question? I'm Lily, and I suppose this stone must belong to you. Wait, stone? What? Can't say I've ever seen this thing before, but sure. Please. Don't tell anyone about this, about seeing Nebby. It's a secret, okay? Come, into the bag, Nebby. <laughs> the bag memes have returned, I love it. But, yeah, I seriously don't get what's so secretive about Nebby. I guess there are certain people in Alola that, you know, if they got word of it existing, would probably come after it, but... I'm worried we might get attacked again by some wild Pokemon, or something. I know it's too much for me to ask, but do you think you could see us back to town? Ah, we get to have a little date with Lily, okay. You all know how I feel about Lily already. She abandoned us in the previous game, left us alone to take on the challenges of Alola with no Nebby. Or I guess actually she did leave Nebby with us, but still, Lily, I don't know how I feel about you this time around. I just, I have abandonment issues, I guess. Hey, we've already met, huh? She's my assistant, yeah. Oh, is that so? Well, I don't see how that really changes anything. I thought you were with the Kahuna. Kahuna Hala? He said that he had something to attend to, so he left town on his own. I was just, um, taking a little stroll up Mahalo Trail while I waited for him to return. And that's how you met our new neighbor, Orange, huh? He just got to Alola yesterday. Help him find his way around, yeah? Wait, so how long has Lily been in Alola? You're also one of the professor's acquaintances. Nice to meet you. The Kahuna's back! Kahuna Hala has returned! Our Guardian's Chosen One is back! Only one of the strongest Pokemon users in all of Alola! Yeah! Oh, Big Bad Hala! There he is! Hala Hala get dollars! The Big Bad Kahuna! Alright, I've got no more nicknames for him. You already know. It's Hala. Have I missed something? There you are, Kahuna. Was there some kind of trouble? <laughs> Just got caught up in the middle of some brawling rock roughs, that's all. Sorry, Lily, what were you saying before? For some reason, I thought I saw Tapu Koko flying about. That's right. Yes, Kahuna Hala. Nebby got attacked by some Spiro on the plank bridge, and Orange Hair helped protect it. But the bridge collapsed, and I thought both of them might fall to the bottom of the ravine, and that was when the Guardian's deity swooped in to save them. Whoa! That's something you don't hear every day. Oh, although it is said to protect us, our Tapu Koko is a rather fickle creature, yet our guardian was moved to save you. Kakui, my boy, I think we have cause to celebrate. Looks like we have a brave and kind new Pokemon trainer in our midst. I'm glad to meet you, child. I am Hala, the Kahuna of Mele Mele. Welcome to Alola. Young Kakui had told me of your coming. I'm glad we got the chance to meet today. Dang, so everybody's already heard about us? There's some legends being told, this is awesome. When did you get out again? I know that Kahuna Hala and the Professor will keep you safe from any harm, but you should still stay in the bag and out of sight. It's safer that way. Nebby, well, it seems to have taken a liking to you. 
I've read that Pokemon like it when you pet them or take care of them, you know? I did no such thing, what are you talking about? Here's a lovely gift for me to help make today special, Orange. As if it wasn't special enough, what? A Pokedex? Whoa! That does not look like any regular Pokedex, though. And I'm sure you guys know exactly why. Your new partner, Poplio, is already registered, so check it out. A. And this is a trainer passport that I had put together for ya. Well, you got to meet the Kahuna at least. Ready to head home now? I guess so. Oh, I guess we're not. Uh, oh yeah, hold up one sec. Oh wait, it's Hau, what the? What is it, Hau? Did you forget something? You're seriously asking me that? Who's the one here who forgot to tell anyone before wandering off for a little stroll in a sing without a word, huh? Whoa, orange. Would you be so kind as to give me a look at that sparkling stone you have there? You mean, this sparkling stone? Which is definitely not a mega ring at all. Tutu, isn't that... You were rescued by Tapu Koko at the bridge. Isn't that what I heard, Orange? Yep, that's that's right. So it even deemed to give you a stone. Perhaps you here in Alola, Orange, because you were meant to be. Allow me to borrow this stone for now. Fret not, I'll return it to you tomorrow evening. You have the makings of a brilliant trainer. I can see that light within you too. You must do us the honor of joining our festival tomorrow. Ah, so the festival's still happening, huh? First, I'll make sure you get back home safe today though, Orange. Lily, you too should come visit with us too, yeah? Wouldn't want to go losing you twice in a day. You or that precious Pokemon of yours. Yes, I'll keep an eye on. Nebby! <laughs> oh, you! Would you not try to escape the very moment that you're told not to wander off? <laughs> I had to do it. I'm sorry, guys. Is this the next day? Oh, I guess not. Welcome back, Orange! So what did you think of Kahunahala? Ooh, and look who you've got with you! Hey, that's right, we got our starter, boys! A little bit of deja vu here. Came out running to help you. What a sweet little thing. That's right. And it saved you. That's amazing. Must have been fate that you met. Feels like it. I mean, we were literally about to just run into the grass, no Pokemon or anything. And then all three starters showed up. Not even just one, but all three came to the rescue. And now we've got our very own Poplio. And I am super excited to actually get to explore more with our little friend Poplio. But of course, the next day, it's a stunning sunset. All right, today's the day that I finally unpack. Come on, mom, you're not even fooling yourself with that one. Was that the doorbell? Go see who it is. Probably our best friend Kakui, which I still wonder if he's actually our cousin, because I would make him related and might explain why he always just barges in without actually knocking the door. Well, I guess he did ring the doorbell, but... Hey there, Orange! It's about time we set out for the festival, yeah! But first, I've got something to teach ya. Now that you're a real Pokemon trainer, it's the most basics of all the basics. Come on! Oh no, please don't tell me we still have to learn how to catch Pokemon. I'm sure you'll have a good time with your new Pokemon pal. Me and Meowth will be sure to unpack every last box here. You'll see. Yeah, somehow I doubt that, but you know, good luck, Mom. It actually looks like there's less boxes than there were back in the original game. There's definitely still some unpacked boxes though, and actually there's more on the balcony, so maybe our mom is just as lazy as she was back in the original Alola. Orange, hurry it up, cousin! Pretend you're Pokemon and use your agility! Okay, relax, Kikui. We do not need these jokes right now. In fact, the only thing we need right now is to end off this episode because it has been far too long, so next time we will catch our first Pokemon with Kikui. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will catch you then.